Here is a tutorial on how to use the Meal Planner spreadsheet. To start, go to the Setup tab. List out the single ingredients that you will eat on their own that are not part of recipes. They are non-recipe items you will want to add to your menu like beverages, nuts, fruits, cheeses, and more. You will then need to enter how many servings you will need of this item when adding it to a meal, the unit of choice, and grocery categories. I added optional columns for those who wish to keep track of calories and or macros. At the right of this tab you will find a table where you can customize the units of measurement you prefer using, the grocery categories you like and the different recipe categories you feel suit your needs. Next you will need to go to the Recipe Cards tab. Here you will need to add all your favorite recipes. I have entered a few recipes as examples. You will need to enter the number of servings, but the prep time, cook time, calories, and macros are optional. You can now go to the meal planner and start planning your week. At the top you can choose whether you would like for the week to start on a Sunday or Monday. For every day you plan you will have a category column where you can choose from a drop-down list. This will generate the drop-down list in the menu column based on your selection. This feature greatly reduces the length of the drop-down lists. The number of servings you entered in the recipe cards will appear here to help you visualize how many people this recipe can serve. If you need to plan for more people, enter the menu item a second time. If what you are eating is a leftover, click the checkbox. This will prevent the system from adding this to the ingredient list. At the bottom, the ingredient list will be generated automatically. This list is sent to the automatic shopping list where you will be able to sort everything out. Next go to the recipe book. In this tab, you can see all the recipes you've added in the recipe cards. You can click on any item here and follow the link to the recipe cards. In the pantry and inventory tab, you can optionally add all the food and non-food items you have in your home. This is linked to the automatic shopping list to let you see that you have the item and do not need to purchase it. I added a fun feature at the right of this tab that will let you see all the recipes you have ingredients for. Better planning means less waste. Go to the automatic shopping list. Here you can visualize the ingredients you will need to buy for your weekly meals. You can remove or add items here in order to generate a clean printable shopping list. If you entered items in the pantry and inventory tab, you will be able to see them here. You can remove any item from your grocery list by checking the checkbox. If you have any items missing from your list like non-food items, you can add them in the table to the right. Once all this is done you can go to the printable shopping list. Here you have a printable grocery list that was automatically divided by grocery department. The last tab is the calorie and macro counter. This optional feature gives you a great overlook of the calories and macros you have added to your weekly meal plan. Here you can set target goals for every day of the week. Thank you for watching and enjoy using this useful and fun automated spreadsheet.